In today's video, we are going to have a basic introduction on how to find the sum and difference of two terms. And we are going to start with a simple to complex example and we are going to explain everything in details. The product of the sum and difference of two terms is simply the difference of the squares of the terms. So as you can see in symbol, we have quantity a plus b times quantity a minus b that is a square minus b square. Simply multiply the first term to first term and last term to last term. That is a times a is a square and b times negative b is negative b square. Always remember, the product of the sum and difference of two terms is always a binomial. And when we say binomial, it is a polynomial with exactly two terms. So these are the basic concepts that you need to remember in simplifying sum and difference of two terms. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number 1, we have quantity x plus 6 multiplied by the quantity x minus 6. To simplify this one, always remember the product of the sum and difference of two terms is the difference of the squares of the term. So to simplify, let us simply multiply the first term to first term and last term to last term. So let us have x times x, that is x squared, and then 6 multiplied by negative 6, that is negative 3 to 6. And this will be our answer. On number 2, we have quantity 4a plus 5c times the quantity of 4a minus 5c. So let us have first term to first term and last term to last term. 4a times 4a, that is 16a square. And then 5c multiplied by negative 5c, that's negative 25c square. And this will be our answer. On number 3, we have quantity 3s square r square plus 7q times the quantity of 3s square r square minus 7q. So let us have the first term to first term and last term to last term. So let us have 3 times 3, that is 9. And then let us write the variable s. And let us simply add the exponent, that is 2 plus 2, that's 4. And then r then raise to 4. And then we have 7q times negative 7q, that is negative 49q raised to 2. And this will be our answer. On example number 4, we have quantity a cubed b raised to 4, v raised to 5, plus 6x cubed times the quantity of a cubed b raised to 4, v raised to 5, minus 6x cubed, so let us simply multiply the first term to first term and last term to last term. So let us have a as a variable and then let us add 3 plus 3 that is 6 and then let us have b, 4 plus 4 that is 8 and then v raised to 10 that is 5 plus 5 and then 6x cubed multiplied by negative 6x cubed that is negative 36x raised to 6 and this will be our answer. In example number 5, we have quantity 5a square b square over 6 minus 2c square over 3 times the quantity of 5a square b square over 6 plus 2c square over 3. So to simplify this one, let us simply multiply the first term to first term and last term to last term. And whenever we multiply fraction, we simply multiply the numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. So let us have 5a square b square times 5a square b square that is 25 and then let us have a so let us add exponent that is 4 and then b raised to 4 and then on the denominator 6 multiplied by 6 is 36 on the other side we have negative 2c square times positive 2c square that is negative 4 c raised to 4 over 3 times 3 that is 9. And this will be our answer. On number 6, we have quantity 2s raised to n, q raised to m plus 3d raised to 3k times the quantity of 2s raised to n, q raised to m minus 3d raised to 3k. So let us have the first term to first term and last term to last term. So whenever we multiply variables, we simply add their exponent. So let us have 2 multiplied by 2, that's 4. And then let us have s 
as a variable and then n plus n that is 2n we simply add the exponent and then let's have q m plus m that is 2m and then we have positive 3d raised to 3k times negative 3d raised to 3k that is negative 9 and then let us have d as a variable and then let us add the exponent that is 3k plus 3k that is 6k and this will be our answer on our last example we have quantity s plus 2 minus 4 times the quantity of s plus 2 plus 4. So there are two solutions in order for you to answer this one. Let me show you the first solution. So let us simply multiply the first term to first term and last term to last term. If you are going to multiply s plus 2 to itself, we are going to have s plus 2 raised to 2. And then negative 4 times 4, that's negative 16. But we have to simplify this one. So we have a square of binomial. So let us square first the first term. That is s times to itself, that is s square. And s times 2, that is 2s times the constant 2, that is 4s. And then 2 multiplied by itself, that is 4. And let us write negative 16. So let us simplify this one. So our final answer will be s square plus 4s, 4 minus 16, that's negative 12. And this will be our final answer. The second solution, if we are going to eliminate the quantity, we are going to write this one as s plus 2 minus 4 times the quantity of s plus 2 plus 4. So as you can see, we can simplify this one. So this will be s 2 minus 4, that is negative 2. And then we have s 2 plus 4, that is 6. And to simplify this one, let us use FOIL method. So first term to first term, that is s times s is s squared. And then, first term to last term, that is s times 6, that is 6s. And negative 2 times s, that's negative 2s. And negative 2 times 6, that's negative 12. So let us combine like terms. So this will be s squared. And then 6s minus 2s is positive 4s minus 12. And this will be our answer. So as you can see, we came up with the same answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thanks so much for watching and God bless us all.